Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is about the insertion of Jidal and after explaining the insertion technique, I will talk about the method of removal of Jidal as well. So let us start from the introduction of Jidal first. What is Jidal? Jidal is hormone producing contraceptive implant which contains two rods to be inserted subdermally. Each rod contains 75 mg levonorgestrel. And what is the rate of release of levonorgestrel? The release rate of levonorgestrel is about 100 microgram per day at one month after insertion, declining to about 40 micrograms per day within one year to about 30 micrograms per day within three years and to about 25 micrograms per day within five years. And what is the recommended duration of the use of Jidal? Jidal provides contraception for five years. Now let us discuss the insertion of Jidal. Always use sterile gloves or forceps while handling the rods. If an implant is contaminated, for example, it falls on the floor, leave it for the later disposal. Open a new package in such case and continue with the procedure. Now we will discuss the timing of insertion of Jidal. Insertion should preferably be performed during the first few days of the menstrual bleeding and not later than on the seven days from the onset of menses. A gynecological examination should be performed before the insertion of Jidal as always before starting to use hormonal contraceptives. If the patient has no contraindication to progestin on the contraception and no allergy to antiseptic or anesthetic to be used, the implant can be inserted according to uh, the specific procedure. And which are the proper times for insertion? First of all, within seven days from the onset of menstrual bleeding, immediately or within seven days post abortion, immediately or within three weeks post abortion, postpartum, if the woman is not breastfeeding, from six weeks postpartum, if the woman is breastfeeding. And how to do insertion of Jidal? Ask the patient to lie down on examination table with her non-dominant arm extended on the sterile cloths on the other table at the right angle to her body. The implant will be uh, inserted subdermally through a small incision by using the disposable trocar in the shape of narrow V opening towards the armpit. First, determine the absence of known allergies to the anesthetic agent or related drugs. Fill the syringe with 2 to 4 ml of local anesthetic. Anesthetize the insertion area by inserting the needle just under the skin about 5 to 5.5 cm in the directions where you are planning to introduce the disposable trocar. Jidal is provided with a disposable uh, trocar that is sharp enough to penetrate the skin directly. Thus, the disposable trocar can be used to puncture the skin and insert the rods without the need for an incision. The trocar has two marks. One mark is close to the handle and one close to the tip. When inserting Jidal implants, the mark closer to the handle indicates how far the trocar should be introduced under the skin before the loading of each implant. The mark closest to the tip indicates how much of the trocar should be left under the skin after the insertion of the first implant. When inserting the trocar, avoid touching the part of trocar that will go under the skin. Once the tip of the trocar is beneath the skin, it should be directed along the skin horizontally by pointing slightly upward towards the raising, raising the skin or tenting to keep the implant in the subdermal plane. Throughout the insertion procedure, the trocar should be oriented with a bevel up. It is important to keep the trocar subdermally by tenting the skin with trocar as the failure to do so may result in deep placement of the implants causing a more difficult removal. Advance the trocar beneath the skin about 5.5 cm from the incision to the mark closest to the handle of the trocar and do not force the trocar and if you feel any resistance try in another direction. Next, remove the plunger when the trocar is advanced to the correct mark. Load the first implant into trocar either with tweezers or with the 
fingers. Push the implant gently with a plunger to the tip of the trocar until you feel resistance and never force the plunger. Hold the plunger steady and pull the trocar back along it until it touches the handle of the plunger. It is important to keep the plunger steady and not to push the implant into the tissue. Do not completely remove the trocar until both implants have been placed. The trocar is withdrawn only to the mark closest to its tip. When you can see the mark near the tip of the trocar in the incision, the implant has been released and will remain in place beneath the skin. And you can check this by palpation. So after insertion of the first implant, now when you can see the mark near the tip of the trocar, get ready for the insertion of the second implant. And for that, advance that trocar again to the mark forming a narrow V as you can see in this video. Here we are advancing the trocar again by forming a V shape. Then remove the plunger and load the second implant as you can see here. So insert the second implant next to the first one to form V shape. Fix the position of the first implant with the left forefinger and advance the trocar along the side of the finger. This will ensure a suitable distance between two implants. To prevent expulsion, leave a distance of about 5 mm between the incision and the end of implant. You can check their correct position by cautious palpation of the incision area. After insertion, cover the insertion area with compress and wrap enough gauze around the arm to ensure hemostasis and a sterile sticking is applied in the end. Now let us discuss the removal of Jadal. The patient shall be in the similar position and similar aseptic technique shall be applied as for insertion. First of all, locate the implants by palpation, possibly marking their position with a marker and pen. Inject a small amount of local anesthetic under the ends of implant that are closer to each other. Make a 4 mm incision and with a scalpel close to the ends of the implant. Keep the incision small. Use a scalpel to very gently open the tissue and capsule around the implant. Then push each implant with your fingers gently toward the incision. When the tip of the implant is visible, visible in the incision, grasp it with the mosquito forceps. Grasp the end of the implant with the second forcep called the cryl forcep. Release the mosquito forceps. Remove the implant gently. Repeat this procedure for the second implant and measure the length of the removed implant to make sure the patient has had two jadal implants. So we need to measure the length of the removed implant and the length should be 43 mm. After the procedure is completed, close the incision and bandage it as after insertion. The arm should be kept dry for a few days. So that was all about Jadal insertion and removal. I would like to complete my presentation with this quote, blessed or the flexible for they will not be bent out of shape. So learn flexibility and adaptability because if you can't be flexible, you will become irritable in life. So thank you so much. Wish you all the best. Allah Hafiz.